are getting a look inside the Florida Aquarium's exciting and eye-popping new exhibit. Yeah, this is called Morphed, and it features nearly 20 unique species from all around the world. And on your side, Melissa Marino joins us from live uh, inside the aquarium. What well, you can expect here, this is a super cool exhibit, Melissa. So cool. So we already showed you a fish that literally spits and it's interactive here. So 18 different species that have unique physical adaptations. And look right here, you can walk up to each one, go over here to a touch screen. And then also if there's people over there, you'll see a QR code that you can scan to get more information about the fish. And one of those cool creatures right here. And to talk about that is Eric. He's one of the curators here with the <laughs> aquarium. Hey there, thanks for joining us. Tell oh, wow, us all morning. about it. And you just fed them. I did, I did. You know how you wake up in the morning with a oh, big yawn? If these guys don't get you yawning, nobody will. They are having breakfast right now, and that is a form of, of uh, a substitute for plankton. And pelletized foods, smaller foods we prep for them, but they're called paddlefish, and they're chowing down. And this highlights their unique adaptation. Explain Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Everything here has morphed, has a special adaptation, their superpower. In this case, it's the paddlefish that have the long rostrum and the big mouth and the gill rakers. And in fact, like I say, they act like one of my favorites, basking sharks, and that they filter the food right out of the water, just like big baleen whales, like a blue whale might do as well. A really unique adaptation to an animal that lives in the Mississippi River, not so far away. Love it. It's so cool because, like you said, they're just going with their mouths open, getting all the food. Let's walk over here and show. I think this is maybe one of your favorite ones yes, right really here. Good. What do we have? Yeah, look at them. These are, oh, wow, they smacked the mic. These are, you can say it with me, kids, bird poop frogs. And you can be saying it all day. Poop, poop, poop. Bird poop frogs look just like they sound. They are the uncelebrated amphibian, unlike those axolotls. They don't want you to notice them. They just want to sit on a lump on uh, a log like a little lump of bird poop and that's their special adaptations they blend into their environment and they are avoided by predators <laughs> they just did like a cowabunga jump yeah, out to the window so cool. you can see their little footprints going across the window there are well over 30 of them in there you'll find these in vietnam there's a species in south america we have animals from all over the world we're celebrating everything that makes them different unique and wild and as we mentioned this helps all of these creatures survive but what what we put them, or what you rather you put them in here for, is to showcase their you. They're all so unique. All those as we unique mentioned. abilities, how they've morphed to yeah. just really adapt to their environment, an environment we need to protect. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us, and I'm going to send it back to you guys. And it's important to know this officially opens to the public July 1st. That's awesome. Yeah, we got to go. I took Sam, Melissa, and we got to go through that exhibit, and there is really something for everybody there. It's really cool that they've made it interactive too. It is, and I could listen to Eric talk about this all day. He gets yeah. me so excited. <laughs> They love you, Eric. Yes. <laughs> I love that, too. <laughs> All right, thanks, Melissa.